we're now going to put into practice all that we've learnt about finding the critical region on a binomial hypothesis test and put it into practice with an exam question. So it says Bryony suspects that a particular six-sided dice is biased in favour of two. She plans to throw the dice 35 times and note the number of times that it shows a two. She will then carry out a test at the 4% significance level. Find the rejection region for the test. Now this is worth seven marks, which is a lot of marks. Um, and just finding the rejection region alone doesn't really warrant getting all seven marks. Actually, and it's not stated in the question, but actually what you need to do to fulfil all the marking criteria here is to go through the process of writing down all the hypotheses and all that, go through the process of carrying out the test. And that's something that seems to be specific to the new syllabus. You've got to jump through more hoops to get the marks. So, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't directly say write out the hypotheses, you know, state the uh, in words what the parameter we're testing for is. But unfortunately, that's just what you've got to learn that we've got to do to get the marks here. So now going through the process of carrying out a hypothesis test, we need to state in words what the parameter we're testing actually is. So in a binomial hypothesis test, we're testing P. So P equals, in this case, the probability a two is thrown. Okay, and the null hypothesis, well, if it's a fair dice, if we're sitting on the fence, probability is a sixth. The alternate hypothesis, it says that it's biased towards a two. So the probability of throwing a two is greater than one sixth. And find the critical region here is going to be slightly more difficult given that it's a greater than test. So she plans to throw the dice 35 times and note the number of times that it shows a two. Okay, so the distribution we're going to use is binomial distribution 35 and the probability we're testing is a sixth. So what we need to do now is find the rejection region at the 4% significance level. So drawing our sliding scale of probability. And the top 4% we're going to reject. So 4% reject. And the reason that we reject this side of the distribution, the top 4%, is because we're testing for greater than a sixth. So it's going to be the right-hand tail of the distribution, the top 4% that we reject. So let's try and find out the values that we do reject. So testing to the right, the top 4%. Well, the boundary, because the calculator only works out probability to the left of a value, a less than or equal to, really, it's going to be better here if we consider the left-hand 96%. So binomial cumulative list... And let's type in 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. So start at the right-hand side, type in some values until we get bored. 29, 28, 27, 26. Right, that's enough for now. Uh, 35 was the number of trials. And the probability of success was 1 divided by 6, a sixth. And we're looking for a cross over the 96% threshold and we can see we're nowhere near okay so let's do a bit of experimentation let's put 20 in there is that getting anywhere nearer nope still nowhere nearer okay 18 17 16 15 14 13 see if that's done it Still nowhere near. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And this is very much a trial and improvement process. There we go. Between 10 and 9 is where it crosses over the threshold. So what I'm going to write is the probability that x is less than or equal to 10 is... And let's hover over it and make sure we're rounded correctly. 0 
then the probability that x is less than or equal to 9. equals 0 0.9449 oh, zoom back out again 0 0.9449 well if I hover over it I see that it, if I round properly 9450 9450 but it's actually the probability to the right that we want so I do 1 minus each of these I get okay so Move this across here. One minus no point nine seven six eight is no point no two three two. One minus no point nine four five zero. Is no point no five five. And what we've actually worked out here, 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 10, the probability x is greater than or equal to 11. And here we worked out the probability that x is greater than or equal to 10. That's what 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 9 gives us. So here, this one is less than 0 0.04, which leads to a reject. This one is greater than 0 0.04 which is an accept and it's really important that you show crossing over the threshold from accept to reject or vice versa from reject to accept so now we can conclude that anything greater than 11 greater than or equal to 11 rather will be rejected we've showed a crossing from greater than or equal to 10 which is an accept to greater than or equal to 11 which is a reject therefore you can really be sure to write this out critical region is x greater than or equal to 11 and that's all the marking criteria fulfilled that's everything we need to get the marks let's just analyze the mark scheme though to make sure that we know that we are actually getting the marks so here's the mark scheme here Let's take a snapshot of that. And put it just there. So here we see that one mark for H naught as P equals a sixth and another mark for P greater than a sixth. However, it says we do lose one mark if we don't define P. So if we don't define what P is in words, we can't get that second mark. So, yes, there's two marks. And I only get that second mark because I've defined P in words according to the mark scheme. Right, binomial distribution 35 a sixth. Okay, that's another mark. Probability that X is greater than 11 is 1 minus the probability X is less than or equal to 10. Yeah, got that there. Then actually getting 0 0.055, yeah, got that. 0 0.023, yeah, there it is there. 0 0.04 uh, four lies between these, fair enough. So the rejection region is x greater than or equal to 11. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 marks gained. Ignore this last one, that's just a special case of a different method that you could have used that involves using the normal approximation to the binomial distribution but not advised we've gained all the marks in the best way possible now so for more videos like this go to a or subscribe to the youtube channel